All right, so we're checking out the only game that allows you to shoot a 737 off an aircraft carrier in 35 foot waves. It's X-Plane 11. X-Plane 11 is a fantastic game because it is a game that has no idea what limitations are. Recently, I had found how to fly in about 270 mile an hour winds, but you can actually go far beyond that and create your own tornado. I also found a way to get a Cessna up to about Mach 2.5. We'll do that in a little bit too. As X-Plane 11 is a game that's meant to be broken, I recently learned how to edit the files, and as such, I'm going to go in and modify stuff to become stupid and inappropriate. Why? Because thinking is hard, and adding more nines is easy. I'm not gonna lie, I wanna know if I can take an Airbus off in 700 mile an hour winds when I add an extra 1 million pounds of thrust to it. In my quest of playing this game in the ways that it's absolutely not supposed to be played, I have realized that zooming into everything is the best possible answer for hilarity. Real quick, what the hell is this? <laughs> it's hideous. It's like a sentient robot decided to rip the face off of like one of the programmers in the game and wear it like a mask. You didn't think it could get any worse? Look at the guy driving this thing. Tony's over here wearing his condom hat. Tony, I just want to let you know, Minecraft called, they want their hands back. Seriously though, the horror continues. They're mass producing this guy's face. They're doing stem cell research just so that all of the robots can wear the same skin. Let me ask you something. If you look at the center of the screen right now, can you see the creepy glare? How about now? How about now? How about now? <laughs> this guy's nose is so horrified it's trying to escape off to the left. He's also been skipping neck day. Okay, that's enough. Let's try and take off. All right, this is totally happening. 100% off of the aircraft carrier. I've been practicing. Let's freaking do this. Look at that. Perfect. Wow, oh, Carrier take off, take two. Got it. If you can do it with a 737, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to do this with an Airbus. I love that the answer to not making the different characters tall enough was just to have them levitate slightly off the ground so that they show up in the glass. This dude's like, hey, supervisor, can I go home early? And the supervisor's like, why? And he's like, because I'm high. You know what the best part of X-Plane 11 is? Buying horribly overpriced aircraft. I paid $50 for this Airbus, so I guess I'll throw it into orbit. All right, 83,000 feet. Mach 2.5 in an Airbus. I'm not gonna lie, it looks like it's handling it pretty well. It's a good indicator of how quickly the goddamn thing is moving. So what you can do with your wind speeds is you can actually stack wind on top of wind. So if you put one going this way and one going this way and another one going this way, they all begin to compound on top of one another. It was a great way to get my landing gear shoved up my ass on the ground. I don't know how it's going to be at like 70,000 feet. Okay, we're experiencing a little bit of turbulence. I decided we weren't going fast enough, so now we're going 15,000 miles an hour in an Airbus. I'm somewhat curious if like you make full re-entry if it starts burning up or anything. Our altitude right now is a lot. Okay, so that was a flyby of the Airbus. What Mach is uh, 15,000 miles an hour? Well, here it is again. What happens if you put the landing gear down? I'm not sure if this is an accurate representation of what would actually occur. How much friction is there up here? Eventually some dude in some Florida trailer park is gonna be wearing one of these landing gears. Okay, um, I don't know why, but my plane is now pissing lava. Is that, is that what happens? in space. Okay, I got good news and bad news. The good news is we are getting ready to re-enter the atmosphere. The bad news is we're doing it backwards. <laughs> Maybe I should let the AI handle this landing. <laughs> I've been falling toward the earth for a while. I feel like we're not slowing down because this is the speed that we're still falling at. Okay, the, the acrobatics that we're doing is starting to get faster and faster. All right, Tom Hanks, let's see you fix this. Okay, I have, I have no idea how this happened but I actually got our engines working. <laughs> Hell yes. Come on, pilot, you can do this. You're only dealing with about 600 Gs. Hey, it's getting warmer outside. It's only negative four Celsius up here. I actually sat through the entire re-entry and we made it down to earth. 
with a fantastic landing. You exceeded the airframe G limit. Yeah, no sh I had to do this real quick. It's the glider going at Mach 2.5. The wings immediately ripped off, but hold on. I can actually fix this to make it a little bit hardier. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like the wings are not supposed to do this. Look at the pilot inside. It looks like he's rocking out. It's also completely possible that his spine has been shattered. What the hell is this hat he's wearing? That's right, glider. Fly. Fly on your own. Flap your wings. You can do this. Oh my god, look at this head from this angle. Jesus Christ, it was like something out of the exorcist. It was actually going into his pecs. Oh yeah, the wings are, um... The wings are really starting to absorb the... <laughs> the air resistance now. Hold on, can you... Can we get the wings to do full 180s? Yes, they're touching. Look, they're clapping. Holy sh... What the hell just happened there? What is this? I don't think this is supposed to happen in the game. It's amazing, though. See this? Everyone said that there would never be flying cars. Put some wheels on it. This bitch is flapping on its own. I can't even call it a plane or a glider. Look at it from a distance. <laughs> some dude is down here on the ground. And they're like, what is that? Oh, you, hold on. His head went through the floor. <laughs> That's what is happening. <laughs> this dude's like, what do you want, Gray? I'm kissing my ass goodbye. God, is there a way to get a bigger plane for their wings to do this? Hold on. I never realized it looks like the rock is driving this. We're only dealing right now with a wind speed of uh, 500 miles an hour. So, all right, 737, don't let me down. If your wings can't do a full touch together, it doesn't count. Okay, the wings are slightly gelatinous right now, but it doesn't look that bad. Don't, don't ask me how this is happening right now. I, I don't actually, I don't actually have a reason. I, I, somehow we're flying sideways. I was wondering if you do a bird strike at this point, if since we're flying sideways, the birds come in sideways and they absolutely do. I decided to, uh, attempt the tornado on the ground. It's working out pretty good. We're going to do it one way or the other. I want to take off in the tornado without actually flying in order to take off. Come on, you can do it, you bastard, go! The tornado literally has us in like a full spin. Oh sh- Bruh. All right, attempt number two. Uh, there's a little bit of rain. Unfortunately, it's going sideways. Okay, we've already got a good start. Come on, come on. Shit. Oh my God, I think we got up. We got it up! That sounded really bad. We got the airplane off the gr ground. Look at that. It's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen right before everyone inside dies. This was the, uh, this was the magical takeoff. When the rain starts falling upward, that's when you know the winds are high. I just needed to see if you could get the ultralight to fly at Mach 2.5 and you absolutely can. You know it's bad when the numbers don't actually go high enough to tell you how much you've screwed up. We just entered the 500 mile an hour winds. I have no idea where I am right now. Judging by the direction of the rain, I have a feeling that I was gonna say we're kind of close to the ground. The plane doesn't even exist anymore. We actually crashed through the planet. Okay, we should be entering the 500 mile an hour winds in just a moment, I managed to get the plane pointed directly at the ground. So we'll get the opportunity to see what it does to the plane. And then I'll probably play this back in super slow motion to get a better idea. Cause I can already see the wings are starting to bend in completely different directions from one another. The wings shot so far off of this thing when it hit the ground because of the speed it hit. They landed like in Canada. This plane's like, I'm just practicing social distancing. Yeah, this is what started happening to the wings right before it hit the ground. It wasn't as bad as the glider though. If you listen closely in the background, you can actually hear the plane screaming in horror. I'm not gonna lie, if you can screw this game up this much without editing the files, I can't wait to see what happens when we edit the files. Let's edit the files. All right, might as well start with the 737 here. How do you ruin this? Engine specs. Maximum allowable thrust, 27,000. You know what that sounds like to me? Sounds like goddamn rookie numbers. Anyone tell me, uh, is a million pounds of thrust a lot? Fan RPM. I feel like you're not supposed to cause this to go up to a million, but that's what we're doing. Automatically keeps engines from exceeding max allowable power. <laughs> Wings. Wing flex. Wing flex dampening. Yeah, don't dampen any of that. Okay, we just gave a 737 a bunch of cocaine and turned its wings into jello. Let's see what happens. There it is. The B7 
0.38 cocaine.acf. Okay, I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is we have a million pounds of thrust. The bad news is I increased the winds to 700 miles an hour. Let's see if we can take off. Okay, I wanna let people know I haven't actually turned the engines on yet. The wind is actually just pushing us upward. The engines are not on. <laughs> Oh my God, the wind has just fired us into the sky. I'm not gonna lie, 700 mile an hour winds are amazing. I, I don't actually even know if I'm gonna get to turn the engines on because right now the wind has decided that I must go through the core of the earth. I feel like right now the game would be yelling at me. It'd be saying like, pull up, pull up. I'm trying. Shh. Okay, new plan. Turn the engine on before the wind just sweeps us away into the atmosphere. Oh, hell yes. Oh my god! Oh, no. So, um, I think we're gaining some altitude. <laughs> oh, sh- I mean... I guess I should try and take off on an aircraft carrier since we're having such a good time just trying to take off from an airport. Well, the thing that's supposed to lock you down on the aircraft carrier, um... The winds are so high that it's not technically locking us down. The plane is actually being yanked away from it. The game's still trying to keep us on there. All right, I'm, I'm sure this this will be fine. All right, start the thrust. Oh, never mind. The aircraft thing doesn't even work. Our thrust is so powerful. Oh my God, the wing flex. All right, I'm just gonna do, um, I'm gonna go ahead and not touch the controls because I think things are doing very well right now. The, the, the plane is flying by its own. I guess I could put the landing gear up. We've got a million pounds of thrust at our disposal. We're going to the moon. Why is everything red? Am I vomiting up blood? I, I think we're getting so high that our engines are starting to turn off. Does anyone wanna, does anyone wanna try and take some sort of mathematical equation and find out uh, how quickly we reach this altitude? You can actually see the tornado like winds because it pushes us in this spiral. It's just, we move so fast that the spiral is so long. Okay, I think the engines are starting back up. Well, they're trying to start back up. It's also entirely possible that we've used up all of our fuel. I like how our plane doesn't even fly like straight. It just gets tossed by the the wind speed of the gods. I'm kind of curious though now, what happens if I take the ultralight and give our prop like one million horsepower? There's nothing like giving your weed whacker engine a little bit of crystal methamphetamine. Let's see here. See us right here? 28 horsepower, garbage. 90,000 horsepower. <laughs> now we're talking. And just because our, our engine idles at 12,000 RPMs, standing too close, you'll immediately go sterile. Oh, what do we got here? Prop, two blades. We now have 99 blades. Prop radius, all of it. Uh, Yeah, whatever, I'll just take the RPMs all the way. 99,999 RPMs and say hello to the metholite. I'm gonna turn the 700 mile an hour winds off real quick because if they're on, we'll just blow off into the atmosphere and I won't actually get to see what this engine does. All right, it's a clear day. Perfect for sacrificing the souls of the innocent to the dark one. What the hell just happened? Tire blown. You blew one or more tires. Understood. Where is the actual plane? Ooh. Hey, we are legitimately going through the planet. Oh my God. Oh Christ. Wait, my prop isn't even on yet. Here we go. <laughs> you crashed, no shit. We are circumventing the entire planet in under a second. I think my eyes are starting to explode. The entire screen is turning red. Oh, my headphones make it stop. I'm making it stop. I broke the game. I've gone into my life thinking that there's no such thing as too much power. Since now I'm deaf uh, in both of my ears, I can safely say that I, I was wrong. I never thought I would do this in my entire life, but I, I, I may actually have to back down on the power a little bit. I mean, we're starting at, what was it, like 28 horsepower that engine gives? Uh, we'll, we'll do, we'll do 4,500, that should be plenty. Maybe I should put the prop back down to normal. All right, we're gonna try this again, hopefully in a way that keeps what little hearing I have left intact. Okay, it hasn't immediately exploded. That's good. Ma'am, how are you feeling? She's like, I hate you. Oh yeah. 
Flies like a dream. Of course, it's already going way faster than it's supposed to. Tim the Toolman Taylor would be proud. I got bad news. Um, this thing now uses up so much fuel because it operates at like 5,000 horsepower that uh, we're out of gas. But I mean, it's meant to be a glider, so watch this landing. Bam, got it. Oh, our girl just penetrated the entire planet. I didn't, I wasn't really expecting that. And I just crashed the game. Well, if there's one thing I learned, don't ever give an ultralight 99,999 horsepower. I sacrificed my hearing so that you don't have to. We hopelessly broke the game. And so I consider that a success for today. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of X-Plane 11. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.